What up, my people? This your boy M Extra. Get that! And welcome to Extra Notes Fragrances. Today, I got my favorite type of video for y'all. Yeah, yeah. We doing unboxings today. You dig? And y'all know me. I ain't gonna waste too much of y'all time because I know y'all got things to do on the fine, fine. And I got things to do too. So we're gonna jump straight in the video, man. Hope y'all having a phenomenal day. First, we're going to jump off with the only female fragrance of this video that I have. And it is from the house of Kelvin Klein. And this is Kelvin Klein Beauty. Kelvin Klein Beauty. Have you guys ever heard of this one? Do something for the ladies, you know what I'm saying? And I, of course, after I review this, might give it away what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> I love to wear a cologne, but ain't nothing like walking past a beautiful female and just catching that little, that little whiff of that fragrance across your nose. You ever made me do a U-turn? Say, ew, come on back now. Come on back. I got a few dollars. You hear me? Come out at me. But yeah, let's jump into the smell of this thing, man. Ladies, I want y'all to drop in the comments your favorite fem feminine female fragrance perfume that you're rocking. You know what I'm saying? I want to know what your go-to is, baby. Ooh, that thing got a little spray on that thing. Ooh, let me see what's that. Ooh, hold up. Now that thing made me want to throw up the muscle. Ooh, that thing made me want to throw up the muscle. Muscle sign, baby. Muscle sign, baby. Ooh, that mean that thing strong. Ooh, all right, now hold up. Now this thing got me rocking, man. Ooh, this a little fresh thing right here. Is, is this? Ooh. I see why they call it beauty. It's very pretty, like, very pretty fragrance. Fresh, not overly sweet. Just a little bit of sweetness in there. Some florals. Ooh, I like this. Definitely wouldn't wear it myself, but on a woman, hmm. Yeah, so you know what? One woman will win this fragrance. I will mail it out to you. So, gonna leave a keyword in this video for a female, a woman, to win this fragrance. I like it a lot. I hope you enjoy it too. Let's keep, ooh, that thing, <laughs> that thing made me want to throw up the muscle. Ooh. Let's keep this thing moving. Now, I like smelling that. I can't stop sniffing that thing. Okay, now let's jump into it, man. I don't even know which one of these to open first. But I'm going to go with Fragrance World's Green Sapphire. I own Mocha Wood, and I also own Purple. Forgot the name of it. I'll have it up there. Purple Sapphire, maybe. Violet Sapphire. That's the name of it. But yes, let's dive into this one. Mocha wood, honestly, the hot climate where I live at, even in our winter times, it don't get super cold. It's hard for me to pull that one off, but I love the smell so much. I just keep it. And I wear it around the house from time to time. <laughs> Obviously, it's just like the other fragrances. The violet sapphire has a purple bottle. The mocha wood has like a clear bottle with like Hennessy tone juice in it. This is a nice bottle, but what does it smell like? Shout out to my boy Jeremy. You hear me? I heard my boy Jeremy at House of Colossals. House of Colossals talk about this fragrance. And man, I'm not going to lie. He ain't steered me wrong yet. So I said, let me see what's happening. You hear me? Let me and y'all know me. I'm going to be 112% honest, man. So let's dive into the smell. Got that little powerful sprayer. Let's see what this thing hitting for. Hmm. 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 Okay, it didn't make me throw up the muscle. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay, hold on now. Hold on. I'm digging this. I'm liking it. I'm not loving it. You know me, I'm going to be honest. Ooh, 
that thing getting better. <laughs> you hear me? That thing getting better on the fine thing. Made me want to throw up the, I'm going to give it a finger muss up. It made me throw up the finger muss up. It, it, ooh. Okay, so this is, damn, it smells, it smells super expensive to me. I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting this to be like a mature type of smell, but to me it's not, and that's in a good way. Hmm, I like this fragrance. Still don't love it. I'm gonna have to come back. To, you know what, I'm gonna do an individual video on this fragrance, because I feel like this one of them fragrances that I need to spend more time with and put it on my skin. So yeah, I don't wanna just give y'all a, uh, in an uh, uninformative um, review on this one. So I'm going to spend more time with it and so I can give you all more detailed thoughts. But it's a good smell. I just, I want to spend more time with it. So let's keep the video going. Next fragrance. <laughs> We're going to talk about a lot of people love this fragrance. That don't mean I'm going to love it, though. And that is from the house of Ermaf. Armaf, and this is Armaf Odyssey Own. Now, if y'all know me, my kind of my fragrance journey into the fragrance community kind of started with Armaf. That was like my, I mean, I'm sorry, my Middle Eastern fragrance journey started with Armaf. That was kind of my first, you know, Armaf. I was going Armaf crazy. That's all I knew about at the time. Now it's so many Middle Eastern fragrances, man. As you can see, the this is dope, man. Y'all need to check my video out on Blazing. But we're talking about Odyssey Own. You hear me? Got the little black tuxedo bottle. I'm feeling it look like a little hand grenade. But whatever. Let's pop this thing off. Decent little heavy. Decent little cap. I mean, it's kind of ugly bottle without the cap. But whatever. We know what it's all about. Let's see what that smell smell like that y'all keep talking about let's see hmm. oh hold up now hold up now what does this remind me of oh you been squam this remind me of something. God damn, what is it? What is it? Mm. Oh, what is it? I'm gonna have it up here for y'all. I don't want to waste too much time thinking of what this reminds me of. But oh, it's so. Oh, I like it. Oh, that's that thing on the pine pine. That thing me make me want to throw up the muscle sign. Eh? Get that. This is, ooh, ooh, now this thing here, ooh, this thing got me rocking, man. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> what does this remind me of? It's eating me up because it's on the tip of my nose. Whatever, but this thing is sweet. Little spiciness. Super duper sexy. <laughs> wow, and it's screaming off the tester strip. Oh, wow, what the hell? That's what it is. That's what it is, you son of a bitch. That's, oh, not that one. That's what it's reminding me of. That is what it's reminding me of. Time for No R Extreme, you son of a biscuit. You almost got me. But I will say that the Odyssey has a little more freshness to it, meaning I feel like you could wear this one more places than you can wear this one. And for the bang for your buck, go with this one. But if y'all want it, just say it in the comments. I'll do a side-by-side -side review of these two. That's what it is. That thing remind me of that time four thing. Throw up the muscle. Ooh, that thing made me want to throw up the muscle. Yeah. Get that. 
that's what it smells like. I will do a side by side video, even if y'all don't want it or not. I gotta compare those two side by side, man. Ooh, this, mmm, this might get that thing a run for with money. Ooh, let's go, man. Last fragrance, last fragrance. And this is another one from our mouth. And this is Odyssey Aoud. Odyssey Aoud. I have not seen one single review on this fragrance. I'm about to give it to y'all. It's the same bottle as the um last bottle, but it is gold and shiny. But who gives a damn? Let's see what that smell smell like. I am excited to smell this. That last one. Oh wow. I don't know any notes on this thing. No comparison. Let's see what this thing do, man. Oh, you. Oh, you must be a clone too. Oh, you definitely a clone. Oh, you definitely a clone. What the hell is you cloning? What are you cloning? God damn it. Oh, what is you cloning? This, this is, <laughs> this, eh. what are you cloning? It smells so familiar, so good, by the way, as well. You know what I feel like? I feel like this one should have been in the black bottle. Because I feel like this is more sophisticated, you know, suit and tie type of a deal with this thing. Not saying you can't with the other, but this one just seems a little more grown up. Oh my goodness, this clone is something I cannot put my nose on it. But this thing smells. Damn, these Odyssey, man. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> Do they have any more Odyssey from our mouth out there? Y'all drop them in the comments. I need to get on them. Ooh, this this is. <sighs> Oh, whoa. Throw up the moss up, man. Ooh, flex. They made me want to flex. They made me want to flex, man. Show a bitch a backbone muscle, up, man. Yeah. Get that. Ooh, this thing's sweet. This thing is woody, but real soft ass woods. No pause. Let me just pause that. But this is soft woods. It's like some type of caramel smell. I don't know if they got caramel in this. Like I told y'all, I didn't check the notes out. But if I can find the notes, I will put the notes on this video for y'all. What do this smell like? What did this smell like? Damn. You know what it smell like? Rosenda Matthew number five. That's what it smell like. I don't own that, but I own a clone of that one from Paris Corner. And that's what this smells like. Rosenda Matthew number five. I will do a side by side comparison of this one and the clone of Rosenda Matthew number five. Man, this is a hit it out the park. These things smell amazing. Like, I'm definitely going to have to, like I said, revisit this one, spend more time with it. But right off the bat, these things, you can't go wrong. I'm talking about just spray them on and go anywhere. Nighttime, daytime, or nighttime. But man, 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 man. <laughs> I'm loving these fragrances. All this did was made me want to go out and buy more fragrances. But it is what it is. I do this for y'all, man. I enjoy doing this. I'm talking about I, I live for this. I live for helping people. I live for helping people. I just found a pit bull, a straight pit bull at home, man, a good home. I do all kind of stuff. I just don't post everything on social media. I mean, on my YouTube. But. I appreciate y'all love, man. It's your boy M Extra. I'm up and I'm out this thing on the floor. Let's get that.